Hi friends, today at Juicebox, we're talking all about our Blessed Mother, Mary. Mary is the mother of Jesus. Everything through Mary goes to Jesus. But there are so many reasons why Mary is so special to us. Let's talk about who Mary is, play out some of my favorite Mary stories, and show you why we love our Blessed Mother so much. Let's go! Juicebox! <laughs> In order for Jesus to be born, God wanted to prepare a special mother for him. Throughout her entire life, Mary never sinned and always had God in her heart. That is why Mary is called full of grace. That's so cool! God wanted Mary to be the mother of Jesus, but he wasn't going to force her to do it. God allows each of us to make our own decisions. It's called free will. Hmm. God left it up to Mary to decide. Mary responded to God by saying, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Mary loved and trusted God with all of her heart. By saying yes to God, Jesus was able to be born. If Jesus wasn't born, he couldn't have done all the amazing things he did for us. We try to be like Mary by saying yes to God. She is one of the best saints ever. No other person has been as close to Jesus as Mary has. She carried him in her womb for nine months, gave birth to him in a stable, cared for him, and was with him until his very last day. When Jesus was on the cross, he introduced Mary to us as our mother. Jesus said to the disciple that was with him, Behold, your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. Since we are all disciples of Jesus, we can accept her as our mother too. She listens to our prayers and then tells Jesus or what we said. We can ask Mary to pray for us so that we can love Jesus even more and follow him with all of our hearts, just like she did. You've probably seen a lot of different statues or paintings of Mary. She may look a little different in each one. Mary's everybody's mom. No matter what part of the world you're in. So she might dress differently or have different expressions on her face to show that she wants to connect with us in a way that we understand. I love learning about all the different times Mary appeared to people to tell them important messages. One of my favorites is the story of Our Lady of Guadalupe. In 1531 in Mexico, while Juan Diego was walking to Mass, a beautiful woman appeared to him. It was Our Lady of Guadalupe. I need you to bring a special message to the bishop. I want a chapel to be built on Tepeyac Hill. Juan Diego tried, but the bishop did not believe him. Mother, what do I do now? Gather flowers in your apron and bring them to the bishop. Juan Diego did what Our Lady told him. And when he opened up his cloak for the bishop, the roses fell down and a beautiful image of Our Lady of Guadalupe appeared on it. The bishop knew that Mary had truly appeared to him and a chapel was built in her honor. Another one of my favorite stories happened on the other side of the world, in a small village in Portugal. It was 1917 and a big world war was happening. Lots of people were suffering. An angel appeared to three children while they were out with their sheep. The children's names were Lucia, Francisco, and Jacinta. Do not be afraid. I am the angel of peace. Pray with me, said the angel. The next year, Mary appeared to the children in dazzling white clothes and above an oak tree. I am the lady of the rosary. My immaculate heart will lead you to God. Come back to this place every month and pray the rosary every day so that there will be peace and sinners can go to heaven. People didn't believe the children, so Mary granted them a miracle for many to see. It was a very rainy and cloudy day. But suddenly, the sun came out and it danced and zigzagged and it appeared as if the sun was falling from the sky. The wet ground and all the people's wet clothes immediately dried up. Many people then believed, and the story of Our Lady of Fatima spread across the world. Isn't Mary amazing? Mary continues to inspire us to love Jesus more 
If Jesus shines bright like the sun, she is like the moon that reflects all of his light. We love Mary. Thank you to Saintly Heart and the Little Rose Shop for making these great toys that we got to play with today. I hope you enjoyed learning about Mary. Until next time, bye! Goodbye.